Ah, uh, winter. She looks so lonely out here. Okay, so I'm out at my Airstream right now and it's in storage. I don't like to store it away from my house, but uh, I just moved into a new place and I don't have room for it. So when it snows, I really got to come and clean off the solar panels. I have solar panels on here. They're, you know, uh, there to maintain the battery and of course provide solar power. But because the battery's charged, the battery won't freeze and I can just leave the battery in here all the time and then I'm ready to roll whenever I want. So it snowed, I don't know, three or four inches last night. And I could just wait a few days and it would probably uh, melt away. But uh, it's a good excuse to check in on the trailer. So two things that I use for this. First is I use this thing uh, called the Snow Joe. I got it on Amazon, I'll include a link below. And it's just basically a big um, foam rake, right? And then I bought this expandable pole and it's um, basically a painter's pole. And I like this one because it has big toggles on it so that when I have gloves on, it's easy to operate. But this thing goes like 20, 30 feet, which makes it really, well, probably not 30 feet, but it probably goes 20 feet and it makes it really easy to use. So, um, so let me show you how I'm doing that. Uh, the first thing I do is I, of course, just screw the snow joe onto the pole. There we go. And then I'll expand the pole as I need to, to be able to reach the solar panels. And here there's RVs close to me on both sides. So I can't make it too long or I can make it super long and sort of go at it from an angle. So let me show you some of that at work. Um, so here we go. I got a nice long pole here. Um, if there's a shaky camera, it's because Journey Boy there can't keep himself from laughing. But um, I really just want to get to that solar panel. So um, all I'm going to do is, is go up there and wipe off that solar panel. That's all there is to it. <laughs> and you can sort of feel the edges of it, right? I can feel the edge of the solar panel. Now, So there you go. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it all four sides. Now, some people say, oh, well, you know, if there's a little bit of shadow on there, there's a little bit of snow left, you're gonna have trouble. But here's the thing. Solar panels heat up when they're, um, yeah, and they heat up pretty significantly when they're getting energy from the sun. So any little leftover snow that's on there is gonna melt off the panel really quickly. And then I'm gonna be back up to full efficiency. So, uh, so you can see here, the sun is pretty low in the sky <laughs> right now. So I'm not getting a lot of solar energy, but that's good because if I check my uh, battery levels, I'm already at about 97%. And that's, that's real good. This is Journey Boy here. He's on his phone. <laughs> anyway, I'm already at 97%. By the way, contrary to popular uh, belief here, I have just normal lead acid batteries, just uh, Group 27 ones. I don't have very big batteries um, because uh, they're consumable. And um, if I have to replace them every few years, that's fine. But the solar panels take even better care of them. Um, also, I've really focused on the demand side. I, I try to just really run very little power when I'm boondocking or whatever. And um, even with the four of us, that hasn't really been a problem. So anyway, I, I checked the battery before, 97%. So even though uh, I'm going to get very little power today because the sun is so low in the sky, um, I'm already set up for the tra trailer to get full power tomorrow, and I should have plenty of time to do that. So you can see, this is how many watts the solar panels are pulling in once I, I clean off just one panel, even with the sun so low in the sky. But after I clean off all four panels, uh, which are mostly in shade right now compared to the position of the sun, um, I'm actually already uh, at three times that wattage. So tomorrow, I, I'm guessing it'll be a banner day for solar power. My battery will be back up to 100% and I'll, I'll be in float um, all, all the time. So there you go. I cleaned off the panels, only took a few minutes and, and um, it was very simple. I use the same process, whether it's uh, a few inches of snow or a couple feet of snow. And um, I, I'm not joking, here's a little little picture of what that looks like when the trailer's parked and there's a couple feet on top of it. Now, there's a lot of people out there who say, oh, you gotta clean the snow off the trailer and you can't 
put big amounts of snow on the trailer and let it sit. Um, I, uh, I I just don't think that's true. There's plenty of people out in Minnesota and Wisconsin and, and snowier places than I live that will attest to their trailers being well buried. And I can tell you that uh, I've never bothered. I've never covered it. I haven't raked off the rest of the trailer and I've had feet of snow on there at, 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 um, at, for long periods of time. So lastly, this pole is kind of, um, it's kind of long, it's hard to transport. And I've got a pickup truck, but if you've got an SUV that makes it, uh, or, or a sedan, that makes it even more difficult. So what I like to do is I actually like to take this pole and leave it here. So what I do is I don't put it inside the trailer where it's all snowy and wet, uh, or where I don't want to get it snowy and wet. I actually just take it and I put it right under here. <laughs> And that way it's there and it's ready uh, for the next snowfall. So um, so is there a possibility somebody would come along and steal it? Possible. Is there a possibility somebody will use it? Sure, that's fine with me. Uh, but so far so good. All the times I've stored the trailer, I've left that under there and it hasn't been a problem. Now, yes, I'll be annoyed if I come out after a one foot snowfall and my thing is gone. But after a one foot snowfall, chances are uh, no one's gonna see it under there anyway, okay? So that's it. That's how to uh, keep your solar panels clean for the winter. And uh, I hope that helps.